And to do that, <clears throat> we're going to put uh, a compressor and a 31 band equalizer on the global effects, which will cover all of it. So what we'll do is put this classic compressor on here and play the, uh, the song and see if we can get a good mastering type compression. Would you see me with just a 24 minute from midnight? I completely knew that the time was right. I like that. I knew the time was right. I am ready for my baby next to heartbreak. Now with this 31 band, if, if there's any frequencies anywhere that are standing out that you think might need to go globally, you can just pull them out with this. Okay, I like that. And a little bit of a global reverb. Not much. About a 5% with no frequency damping. And make that about 60. Override the uh, vocal reverb just a little bit. What this does is gives you uh, the impression that this was all recorded in the same room as if there was a band standing there playing the song. So let's check that out. Okay. Now one thing you want to check is the very end of the song. This song ends abruptly, and I don't want too much reverb or anything like that uh, continuing on after the, the song ends, so let's check that out. Did you see me bring mistake? Nope, it seemed to be alright, but something's hissing, and it may be this bass guitar. Not the bass guitar. Actually, let's loop that so I can find it. It's not the ride. It's not the first guitar. Not the second guitar. Not the solo. It is the vocals. So what we can do about that, zoom way in, right there where the issue is at the end, and pull that in very close, and then create a volume point and a fade out. And generally, I'll do that with all the other instruments, just to uh, get everything to stop at the exact same time. I want to be careful with cymbals and things, though, with the overheads, because those need to ring out. So generally, I'll do that, put the volume point right where the rest of them end, and do a quick fade out. Let's get rid of that loop.
once done with this, we should hear a very tight ending to the song. First tom, here's the snare. And the last one is the kick drum. Okay, zoom back out. Turn off the solo on all those tracks so that we can hear the uh, entire song end. Oops. Start about right there. We don't want to loop. Greatest mistake. Something is still soloed. Here we go. Nice tight ending. Uh, the last thing you need to do is save, click File, mix down to MP3, AUG, WMA, WAVE, whatever your choice is. I'm going to choose MP3, and this song is called Great Mistake. And you can click Edit Details here um, and choose the... Uh, bit rate that the mp3 comes out at 128 is good if you're going to send it through email or upload it to a website but if you want the the high quality um just go up to 320 and yes i want to use file and tag information so the title of this song is great mistake did i spell that right yep author me and Steve Casanova. Yes, that's his real last name. This is not an album. This is a Mixcraft tutorial. Uh, what's the genre here? I guess this would be blues. Something like that. 2010. No copyrights. Comments. This rocks. Okay. Let's hit save and... It will render down here, and when it's done, we have our MP3.